Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to begin with our calendar today. Let's look at our months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. What month are we in? May. So we're going to go ahead and let's move May to the calendar. We're going to cross out the days that have already passed and we're going to stop at the fifth. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Today is May 5th, 2020. Okay, let's look at our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is, if we look at our calendar, we know today is Tuesday. If today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Today's Tuesday, yesterday was Monday. Okay, we're gonna move on to fluency. Fluency, we're going to read the words and cross them out as we read. Remember, if you don't know a word, go ahead and circle it. You want to practice the word. Okay. A, I, the, and, go, had, he. B, C, has, you, we, of. N, M, at, to, as, have. It, is she can his him on did girl for but up all look with her what was were said that down they some there boy out do little then when Yesterday I asked you, what does this word say? Can you tell me what it says? Where? Yes, it looks like this word right here, but this word without, it doesn't have an H, says were, this one says where. Okay, we're gonna move on to reading. This is from the reading packet. We're going to draw a picture for the sentence below. He is happy in the hot sun. So we need to draw a picture that matches the sentence. So in the sentence, who is it about? It's about a boy, he, and what is happening? He is happy. Where? In the hot sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my picture. So, in the hot sun. And I'm gonna draw a boy happy. And so he's happy in the hot sun. Okay, next we're going to move on to the next page. Here we're going to trace the letters, then write our own letters. What letter is this? H. Okay. When we trace the letter H, the capital H, we start at the top, we go down. Well, let me make it smaller. 
We start at the top, we go down, same thing on the other side, and then we draw the line in the middle to connect the two lines, H. Let's trace it again. Good job. Go ahead and write it by yourself three times. One, two, three. Okay, this letter is also H, but this is the lowercase h. You start at the top, you go down, and then you go to the middle, and you go down. What sound does a letter H make? <sighs> okay, go ahead and write it three times by yourself. Good job. Next, draw a picture of a little or big toy you would like. Then, write about it. So you can draw any picture of a little or big toy that you would like. I'm going to draw a picture of a ball, a big red ball. that I can play with outside with my dogs. They love to fetch. Okay, and then we need to write about it. So I'm going to write down here. I would like a big red ball to play outside to play fetch with my dogs outside. Remember, you're going to write your own sentence. Um, you can draw your own toy. Maybe it was, it's a paper airplane, a hula hoop, a doll, whatever, whichever toy that you would like. Go ahead and draw a picture and write a sentence about it. Remember, a sentence needs to make sense. You need to have a capital letter in the beginning of the sentence, and you need to have a punctuation mark at the end. Okay, let's move on to the next page. Okay, quick check. Which sound starts, which sound starts the word happy? Happy. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the word happy? Do you hear the d sound? or the So we're gonna go ahead and color that one in. Okay, number two. Which word is the opposite of little? Opposite means not the same. So what is the opposite of little? Is it cold, loud, or big? Big. Little, big are total opposites. They're different. Okay, number three. How are the gorilla and ladybug alike? Number three and four is talking about the story, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the story. Let's read the story before we answer those two questions. Friends, he is big, she is little. He is cold, she is hot. He is happy, she is sad. He is quiet, she is loud. They are friends. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to number, number three. It says, how are the gorilla and ladybug alike? So alike means same. How are they the same? A, they are animals. B, they are big. C, they are little. In the story, it tells us that the gorilla is big and the ladybug is little. So we know that it cannot be B or C. So that leaves letter A. They are animals. Number four, how are the children in the third picture different? We want to know how they are different. A, they are kids. B, one is happy, one is sad. 
C, they like to play. So let's go to the story and look at the third picture. This is one, two, three. So here in this picture we see he is happy, she is sad. So how are they different? A, they are kids. No, that's how they're the same. B, one is happy, one is sad. Yes, that's how they are different. Great job. So that's everything for reading today. We're going to move on to math. Okay, Daniel sees three tomatoes on a plant. He sees five more tomatoes on another plant. How many tomatoes are there in all? So we see three here and five tomatoes on this plant. So three and five is, we're joining them together. So let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three and five is eight. Okay, let's move on to the next page. So we're going to practice. We're going to use the, these uh, counters to model joining the groups and we're going to circle the groups to join them. And then we're going to write our number sentence. So here we have two bell peppers and we have another four. So we're gonna write two, because we see two in the beginning, four more, and now we need to join them to see what our total is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six peppers. Number two, how many eggplants do you see? One, two, three, four, five. In the first group, we see five eggplants. Then we see two more. How many do we see in all? Five six, seven. So five and two is seven. Okay, let's move on to the next page. We're going to do the same things for number three, four, five, and six. Okay, here we have how many? Five. And in this group, how many do we have? Four. So we're going to combine them together. We're joining them. How many do we have in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's look at number four. How many do we have in the first group? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many do we have in the second group? One, six and one is seven. Let's look at number five. How many do we have, how many heads of lettuce do we have in the first group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight heads of lettuce in the first group. How many do we have in the second one? One. Eight and one is, if we join them together, nine. Okay, let's look at the carrots. How many do we have in the first group? Two. How many do we have in the second group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we join two and eight, how many carrots do we have in all? We have 10 carrots. Great, let's move on to the next page. The next page we're going to do the same thing for number seven, eight, and nine. And then number 10, we need to draw another group of counters so that we can have a total of eight. Number seven, how many eggplants do we have in the first group? Nine. How many do we have in the second group? One. 
9 and 1 is 10. Let's look at number 8. How many peppers do we have? 2. How many do we have in the second group? 6. 2 and 6, if we join them, we're adding them together. 6, 7, 8. 2 and 6 is 8. Let's look at number 9. How many do we have in the first group? 1. How many do we have in the second group? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 and 5 is 6. Great job. Let's go to number 10. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 counters. We need to draw more so that we get the number 8. We want the total to be 8. So here we have 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to stop right there. How many more did I add? 1, 2, 3. So 5 and 3 is 8. Great job. Next, we're going to move on to science. For science, we're going to read this story, and we're going to tell about what animals you see. So show what you know, look at the pictures in this book, and tell what animals you see. Before we read, we have some vocabulary words. We have plants, water, animals, homes, and land. Okay, plants live on land. Animals live on land. So here we have cows and chickens. Let's move on to the next page. Plants live in water. Animals live in water. So here we have plants and we have fish. Next page. Plants and animals live in hot places. And so we can see different types of animals in hot places. This kind of looks like a desert. Plants and animals live in cold places. So an arctic habitat or a tundra habitat. We have a seal and a polar bear and a yak. Okay, so next we're going to tell what animals did you see in the story. In the story, we saw cows, chickens, we saw plants, oh, well, it's talking about animals. We saw fish, we saw polar bears, seals, lizards. So I'm just going to write those two more. Polar bears and lizards. Okay. And from this story, we read that the plants and animals live on land, water in the hot place and in cold places too. Okay, so we're going to move on to social studies next. And for social studies, we're going to be just reading the story and we're going to name three people that we read about. Presidents and patriots. A president is the leader of a country. Patriots are people who love their country. George Washington was the first president of the United States. He is known as the father of our country. Abraham Lincoln was a president who loved his country. He is known as Honest Abe. George Washington and Abraham Lincoln were presidents and patriots. We honor George Washington and Abraham Lincoln on President's Day. President's Day is the third Monday in February. Okay, next page. Benjamin Franklin was a patriot. He believed America should be a free country. Benjamin Franklin believed that all 
the states needed to work together to be free. Harriet Tubman was a patriot who was once a slave. She helped almost 300 other slaves escape to freedom. Helping slaves escape was very dangerous. Harriet Tubman was very brave. Here we have a picture of Stephen F. Austin and Jose Antonio Navarro. Stephen F. Austin was a patriot. He helped families who came to settle in Texas. Jose Antonio Navarro was a patriot. He helped write new rules for Texas citizens. These men helped our state grow. So next, we're going to list three people that we read about. So if we go back to the story, we write about George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Benjamin Franklin, Harriet Tubman, Stephen F. Austin, and Jose Antonio Navarro. You're only going to pick three. The three that I am going to pick are going to be George Washington, George Washington, Harriet Tubman, and I'm going to pick Stephen F. Austin. Remember, you can pick your own three. Stephen F. Austin. So, we read about presidents and patriots. That's all for today. Have a great day.